Hey right, guys, I'm gonna do another episode of Real Hazardous. We we're trying to catch some redfish, but uh, wasn't much of a bite. Got a tip from uh, Team Buck Rogers, Chad. Uh, the Spanish are biting at the jetties. It's be a good fight, so we're out here gonna troll for some Spanish and see what we catch. So stay tuned. Mark's pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just seen one. Yeah, look at that breeze still blowing, huh? And you gotta eat you some chicken. I think that's what it's going to Is that what it is? Maybe some and try it and see if Like some markings there. Dolphin? Yeah. I'll pass you trophy. A lot of birds on the south tip, too. Um, usually around four or five. It's usually maybe both engines. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. You're up. There you go. That's a good one, yeah. That's a fat Spanish. Alright, going through the school again. Yeah, get ready. There you go. And it's just a huge school, guys. See them popping. There you go. A lot of times when they're thick, you can get into the school and cast to them. It's great if you got like a troll motor or a spot lock. Watch for bait, like I'm marking a lot of bait right now. And record the sonar so you guys can see what to look for. It's a really cool Spanish bite. Dang. Oh, there you go. Oh, he broke it all. Dang, he smacked it. Yeah, he broke it all. Uh, you tossed it over an hour ago. It's busting like crazy. Uh, Do these run most of the year or a certain time of year you catch these? A certain time. Do you usually have a couple week window on them? Sometimes Is this the time of the year though? Uh, yeah, it seems, fall it seems like spring and fall. Usually we get them in spring, but I think they come back yeah. in the fall. Uh, coming over them now. There he goes. Yeah. 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 I just believe my bobtail is your bobtail. Yeah, they're heavy. There we go. They're fat. They're fat. Very fat, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are solid up ahead. We'll get you one. It's a massive school. Are those pogies flipping? We found us a pretty big school of pogies casting around these guys. Imagine the Spanish are around them too. But the water temp's about 71 degrees. I guess they're still still hanging out. So maybe we'll catch us some out. Spanish around them. Fish on! It's a big one too. It might be the biggest fish I ever caught in my life. There we go. Yeah. So we weren't really expecting to be uh, catching Spanish mackerel today. So I don't have quite the usual gear I wanted. I don't have very many spoons. We're just using jig heads and some soft little paddle tails. But you can't troll those as fast as spoons or like gotcha plugs or different lip plugs. And sometimes going faster is better. So it's kind of difficult. Also, that wire, Spanish can cut through your lines. They do have sharp teeth. They can cut through braid. I feel like easier than mono. I actually just put some 40 pound floral on to kind of help uh, 
keep the lure attached a little bit longer. I think it does a little better than braid. So what I'm doing now is we're, we're trolling, but we also got people ready to cast. Kayla's pointing them out up front. And when we get within range, they can cast and I can kind of put the boat in neutral. I don't have many lines trolling. I had a lot of lines trolling and put it in neutral. It could be bad for tangling, but just having one or two lines out ain't bad. Right here or closer? Oh, you got one? Ah, you have one? Right here, she says. Yeah, there they go. Uh, they're just hitting off. He jumped out of the water and got that one. Yeah. What's that? He's pretty aggressive with it. I was coming out of the water lot and he jumped straight out and got it. Yeah, got one fish on. Oh, you hit it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a good one, yeah. You got one, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Fat. Fat guy, that's right here. Got him? Yeah. There you go. Good job. Nice. Dang, guys, yeah, look at This is what they're eating. Yeah, right here. Yeah. I'm gonna put one on this hill. Yeah. See these little glass minnows? Hey, you see him jump in the air and get one? Yeah. That was a lot. Put some live bait or some uh, dead bait on it if we want. They still jumping around us or we need to move? I got one. Oh, dang. Oh, man. Pretty good one, too. Oh yeah, see you just right at the boat. Oh yeah, right to our left. To our left, Kayla. Oh wow, look at them all. Go ahead. There we go. In the boat. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, like put them in the Almost lost the right. Just hit mine back there, Caleb. Yeah. Pretty good school to the right. Back to the right. Yeah, unless y'all are getting hits. See some by those birds. Take a line, is that a big blue fish or a, a drum, you think? You need to chase them? Yeah. You know, there's a big jack or a big redfish. Maybe it's a keeper redfish. Oh, uh -huh. he's still there. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Maybe it's a big, big... There's a boat in front of us. Oh, he's still there. That big fish there, that one's a Spanish. Big old fish. Think red or jack? He was solid. It kind of stayed high, so I don't think it was a red. You can take a lot of lines, too. Yeah. You broke off right there. Before the before. Yeah. 
All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video today. It was pretty fun catching those Spanish. Uh, typically, we catch them in the spring. And I, I hear, you know, they make a, a good run in the spring and they come back in the fall. I usually miss it in the fall, usually hunting or something. But uh, it's pretty cool to be able to catch them this time. So definitely a big school, a lot of fun to catch. I'll be a little more prepared next time, hopefully, with some spoons and stuff. But all in all, had a great time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.